All right, so when you hear that sound, you know it's time for interactive. And I have to remind you, you can catch premium sporting content by downloading the Sportsmax app from the Google Play or the App Store. And remember, as I said, be sure to catch our weekly build-up to the Olympic Games with Le Baton. Le Baton premieres Wednesdays at 6 p.m. 7 ECT on Sportsmax. So we asked the question if West Indies can defeat New Zealand in Trinidad and Tobago tonight and secure their qualification to the Super 8 phase of the T20 World Cup. But let's take the voice notes, responses. Lance, you know I love to hear from our viewers. Let's get the voice notes going. Good evening to the Sports Mag Zone. Adrian from St. Lucia. Yes, the West Indies is going to beat New Zealand tonight. Believe me, you. In Trinidad, we have a full house, and that squad we have there, West Indies is going to beat New Zealand. Trust me, guarantee. All right, all that love from St. Lucia. We're taking it. We're rallying, Lance. Yeah. The man said, believe me, you. I believe you. I think people usually say, believe you, me. He's from St. Lucia. People say things differently from different I, countries. I understand. All right, next one. <laughs> <laughs> yes, this is Pat Press and Diga. West Indies is going to beat them. That can beat them. West Indies is going to beat New Zealand and go to the Super 8 and beat them who we meet in the Super 8. Beat all the teams in the Super 8. West Indies all the way. Yeah, we're beating them later. Mm -hmm. Positive vibes going to Taruba. All. What's all your latest way. weather update from Taruba? <laughs> You, you, you've been getting updates constant, constantly all day. Yeah, let's take one while I check to see what the viewers have tweeted me about mm. the weather. Yeah. Another one, please. Rally! I love that. Let me see. Yeah, man. What she needs doing it. Mara, you all come over, have a couple of drinks and things, let me know. Come on, get up. You know what I'm saying? Rally. I'm not showing people we outside. Yes, I want to come over. I want to watch the match. Um, last thing I heard, well, no, somebody asked me if I would be at Taruba later, and I said I wish. And then another person messaged and said, um, not a single rain cloud in sight. That's good. Good stuff. Right. And yes, I really want to come to Trinidad and Tobago and have a couple of drinks and all of that. Mm. Um, do well. we have more? Bring it on. Yeah, it's what's 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 and we're going to win this World Cup undefeated. Right now, we're on a winning streak, and we have to keep that winning streak. Okay? Yeah. God alone knows how I would feel if we won it. You know, it's, it's heartwarming to hear so many positive responses to our West Indies story because we have sat here for years listening to people. For me, it's been say, five years exactly. Say, say the most awful things about the West Indies team and so on. So it's good that we are on a roll at the moment. That encourages the fans to say positive things about the West Indies team. And uh, let's see what happens later. In we're Taruba. rallying, Lance. We're rallying. I've already decided what I'm having for dinner, what, I, what time I'm getting home exactly, because I can't miss a ball. Mm. All right, let's take another one. Great question. I think West Indies can beat New Zealand. At the end of the day, it takes communication, good coaching, good competency, putting the fields in the right place, and the guys taking a time. When these components can be met, these are the most valuable pieces of, of um, components Westerns can put together for themselves. Time, communication, and good feeling, good bowling. If that can be met, we are moving home. That's my comment. That, these are my views, sorry. Mm. All right, so I take that as we're rallying, we're winning. Yeah. Yeah. Do we have more? Bring them on now, one Three after the next. Three more. Hi, Sports Max. This is Mike from New York. Yeah, I think the West Indies can beat them because we just need the batting to improve. So the bowling is good. So we need a little runs on the board, say 200, and we're good to go. Mm. We know coming into the World Cup, the general feeling is that the batting is more dependable than the bowling. So Mike from New York has a different view. Yeah, or maybe he's, he's just, just going based on what, what he's seen happened. so far yeah. in the tournament. But I was going to add that. Yeah. That's what he's talking about. Yeah. But, you know, different conditions, different country, we have different two more, day. Right? Two more? Yeah. 
Let's get them. Hi, Sports Marks. Uh, could be from Trinidad, not only with West Indies, uh, beat New Zealand tonight, but unlike what the rumors are going on wrong in social media, I have a distinct feeling that we are in for a special treat and a demolition of New Zealand tonight and a special batting performance from Nikki Puran. What's the rumors though? I missed that. Did you get it? Well, you're on social media much yeah, more than I, I am, so you should be able to tell me. Well, I wish I could because now when... I feel left out. I want to know. Hmm. Yeah, I, I, well, I know that there are some trepidation about the Afghanistan match. I mean, but he didn't, he didn't reference, he didn't reference no, Afghanistan just No, he's speaking about something and then he, he talks about Nicholas mm. Puran. So, yeah. um, I'm going to figure that out after the show. Let's take this next one. The big, this is Tracy Caesar, one from Trinidad. Oh, nice. I live about a quarter mile from the Brian Lara Academy. And the biggest threat to the West Indies would be the weather. We are have, we've had lots of rain yesterday and today it was severe. And the weather forecast look like rain again tomorrow. Conditions may mean that we may not even have a game. I'm not telling anybody talking about the weather. The weather in South Trinidad is thunderstorms and rain evermore. Mm. No, no, no. It's uh -huh. like flooding. So mm. that should be considered the old equation. No, well, that was sent yesterday. So he was talking about the weather. Yes, that was sent today. Mm. And he said it was raining close. But your 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 correspondent in no well I mean mine is just social media. Let me just say that I put a tweet out on um, mm. on social media, mm. and of course people are. So like what you read me. just now didn't come from Taruba. Not an hour ago. No, it it yeah. So that that voice note. Okay, good. My producer is confirming. Yes, my my messages are coming from Taruba. My producer has just confirmed that that voice note came yesterday, yesterday. Okay. and it is correct because my best friend she actually lives like opposite the um, Brian Lara Cricket Academy. So I know yesterday, South of Trinidad yeah, was, was raining. raining a lot. Yes. Um, so much so that I believe the practice was also called off. Yes, I saw a report on was, yeah. ESPN. Mm -hmm. So for me, I get that about yesterday, but let's put yesterday behind us. Mm. I've been tracking the weather for today and it seems okay. So the last thing I want to hear is that it's raining. So I'm glad that we got that misunderstanding out of the way. All right, let's take some tribute. Let, let's take some tributes now from the basketball world on the passing of the logo, Jerry West. Byron Scott says, it's because of Jerry West that there was even showtime. It's because of you that I am who I am today. You believed in me when no one else did, and for that I'm forever grateful. You will always be my basketball dad. I love you, logo. My heart is broken. You will be missed. LA Clippers, united under one logo, Jerry West, 1938-2024, to 2024. love. Dallas Mavericks, the NBA lost the legend, rest in peace, Jerry West. Kobe Bryant's stories and motivation, the man who saw Kobe's NBA potential before anybody else, rest in peace to the logo, Jerry West. LeBron James, We'll truly miss our convos, my dear friend. My thoughts and prayers goes out to your wonderful family. Forever love, Jerry. Rest in paradise, my guy. Los Angeles Lakers honoring the legendary Jerry West. Well, you know, Lance, um, if it's anything that really unites the NBA from inception to now, it's the logo. Um, people... And you know, there were always discussions about changing the logo and thing, and I was always against it because for me, it's like, you want to keep that thing that has like seeped through the NBA from start till the NBA no longer exists, and let's hope that never happens. But of course, to me, I'm a bit resistant when it comes to certain changes. I feel like you need to keep the authenticity of any product, and I think that logo makes it very very special so today is a sad day for of course all the people that love and follow the nba the younger generations the older one because i'll say what connects the what connects those that 
follow the NBA from back then to those younger ones right now is that logo. It bridges the gap between what um, what existed then to now. Yeah, I think because of the the face of the NBA has changed, and I understand why there was a call in recent years for the logo to be changed because the NBA and its star quality doesn't look the same as it did back then. But I don't think that this is the time for that discussion because Jerry West is a legend and a Hall of Famer that everyone will miss and respect his passing today. And um, I just think that that discussion will be on pause right now because yeah, of in, course. in respect to, to Jerry West. No, of course, of course, of course. And you know, we here uh, on the Sportsmax Zone are sending so much love to his family and his friends. The reason the NBA logo is what it is, is because of the caliber of man that he um, has been. And I know we're just, you know, it's a tough time for the NBA family. It's a tough time for those very close to him. And, you know, we're wishing his soul rest in peace. All right, we're continuing now with Interactive and with Nikisha Price becoming the first Jamaican woman to run below 49. Um, seconds in the 400 meters. Fans are going crazy, so let's head across the Facebook. Ainsworth, Anthony Bailey, way to go, Miss Price. Lilith Sims, wow, moment, brilliant performance. And Peter Rogers, congratulations to you. Continue the great work. Sharika Levine, she has peaked just in time, love it. Neville Johnson, a star is born. Taik Horton, if she can keep that form going into the Olympics, if possible, we may see her on the podium. Paulino is hard to beat, but I think she's capable of matching her. Yeah, Nikisha Price, we had her here on the Sports Mag Zone. Um, yeah. Beautiful young girl and mm -hmm. doing brilliant things. Yeah, and I don't think many people had anticipated a sub-49 clocking from her, so it came as a huge pleasant surprise that she was able to achieve it and based on her current form coming out of the US collegiate season she has to be in the conversation for medals in 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 Paris and um, let's hope she gets through the the Jamaica Nationals um, injury free and in good shape and we'll see what happens in Paris but she's a special special athlete and vastly improved all right so earlier today I saw you in the office um, doing a picture for our social media followers Yes. Um, where they were told that they can ask you anything. And of course, our viewers are so lovely. They didn't miss the opportunity to ask Lance a lot of questions. So let me see how quickly I can get through some of them. All right. Mm. So you answer. We're doing this quick. It's rapid fire. Ready? Mm. Coffee or tea? Coffee. What's your ideal type of Sunday morning? Relaxing watching television. Who is your favorite co-worker and why is it Donald Oliver? Why is it Donald Oliver? Well, we well can the question has already question been answered. No, this question clearly came from Donald. Who is your favorite co-worker and why is it Donald Oliver? Donald Oliver. <laughs> <laughs> That's not true. Lance, are you going to reggae some fest? Somebody no, wants to know. No, I won't. No, I won't. Who taught you how to sing? It's in my jeans from my mom. Okay, so mom. Mm. Yes. Favorite current dancehall artist? <laughs> Who asked this? What's, what's night, night, Niger boy? From continent, continental girl. He sang that song. Niger boy, Niger boy. Well, excuse me, Lance Whitaker. Thank you very much. Um, <laughs> beach or river? Beach. Hmm. Okay. I haven't been to the beach in a few months. Okay. But, but beach, yeah. Come beach. on, we, we want to get through these. Yeah, quickly. Who's your favorite co host at Sports Max? My favorite co host at Sports Max? George Davis, Simon Crosskill, Waver Hines, Mariah Ramarak, Alex Jordan. You have to pick one. That's my answer. Who is your, well, I guess George, because you said George first. So, George, <laughs> big up yourself, George. Your Lance's favorite co host. Then I say. Didn't I say wait behind as well? Ricardo Chambers. No, yeah? you never even said Ricardo. Forget about him. Wait behind Ricardo Chambers. Everyone. They're all they're all my favorites. <laughs> Alexis Nunes. If not a sports presenter, what would you be? Wow. <laughs> I don't know. I really don't know. Nothing. I've never thought of it, yeah. People tell people would say that I would 
have a singing career, but I, I don't think so. Okay. Yeah. Fi well, finish the lyrics. Sim Sima. Who got the keys to my Who am that, that's I? It. That's it. I don't need to say anymore. <laughs> <laughs> um, what was Asha doing at 7 o'clock? Can't recall. <laughs> Usher, seven o'clock. I don't know. Nah. <laughs> All not, right. an, not an Usher fan, as you might realize, but next question. <laughs> well, that's a wrap for the questions. No more questions. No, but mm. these are. You really know what? Funny. The question about the Sunday morning, favorite Sunday morning, it really should have been football. Yeah. But because I'm injured right now, I can't play, so I didn't even. It didn't even occur to me to say football, but yeah. my, my favorite Sunday morning pastime is playing football well, in, viewers, in Barbican. Seeing that George Davis is his favorite co-host, I guess goodbye and tomorrow <laughs> we'll ensure that we can get George Davis to host the show with him. Have a beautiful evening and I can't say I'll see you tomorrow. Why can't I be greedy? Tell me why, oh why, oh why? Why me for off one girl when Continental girl a text said Want me for themself forever except Man a loose cannon me never dead set When me aim for fire me target in excess Yes, me do them be down relentless Rotation always in full effect That's when one not a crack Me step left, see let the next candidate Girl if you want me, here I am Then you can have me Sharing is caring So you got to share